Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 seconds challenge video. And this challenge is called the Dog Challenge. And this is how the Dog Challenge goes. Not sure if this is challenging enough, but here it goes. The objective is to acquire and maintain Pancake and get rescued with him. You must keep him alive by any means necessary. Even if that means withholding food and med kits from other family members. Not that I don't already do that anyway. Rescue my cousin Jay. May the almighty dog be with you. I know I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready to get this challenge started. I love Pancake. I want to rescue him. I know sometimes when raiders come, he runs off. And I don't get rescued with him, you know, whenever the twins or the military do get me. But this time, we are going to make sure that we get him. I don't think we have, like, a limit on items or family members. So you know what I'm going to do? I am just going to grab my wife. There we go. And get a gun just in case raiders come. And let me get the other weapons just in case. And maybe a checkerboard so I don't go insane. And the gas mask for good measure. I don't want to bring the kids because I don't want to use food on pointless things. Especially Mary Jane because you know she could eat like a damn horse. Even though she looks like a whale. Grab that water. And the flashlight, durr, because we need pancake. Okay, let me make sure I get everything that pancake needs. Just get the radio so we know the military is contacting us. There we go. Throw those bad boys in there. I don't get why the family doesn't just run. They, like, do their own thing. They're just standing there like dumbasses. Like, you obviously hear a siren going off. You see your dad panicking, rushing to get all these items, and you can't even, like, run in the shelter yourself, you lazy fucks. Uh, let's grab this anyway. We can't even think about that. The family must be extra stupid. But we have everything we need. Oh, get this water. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Yes. Got it. Bingo was his name, Mo. Or was it Pancake? Let the dog challenge begin. Day one. Shelter looks good. Have a map. I don't believe I grabbed that, but we found it in the shelter, right? Yes. Exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Water and food every five days. This should last me a long ass time. I need to save one bottle of water, one can of food, and the med kit so I can get Pancake. So we have all of that, unless they happen to go crazy. So all these days don't matter until I see Pancake out and I need to flash my flashlight. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? It might be one of the kids. Actually, I'm 99.99999% sure that it is one of the kids. Should we let them in? Yeah, you know what? We'll use them as a guinea pig to go and scavenge. So, I believe it's Mary Jane. It has to be, right? Mary Jane? No? Oh, it's not one of the kids. Okay, they're barbecue chicken. They are dead. They are deader than dead. We couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. Okay, so he did come back, but then he said, Fuck you guys, and then he left. Alright, that was bittersweet. Anyway, let's continue on with our lives. There's been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? Yes. The more supplies, the merrier. Come on. Nobody would say no to extra supplies, especially if you had the gas mask. You're for sure not going to get sick if you had the gas mask and get the supplies. And we lost the gas mask, but we have two bottles of water and two food, so that's good. One more day and I'll feed these guys and more random notes. Perfect. This is a good start so far. Five days in and we haven't used the med kit or nobody's gone crazy or anything. Because usually we have to use the med kit right away. Whenever we get like a bunch of items, it makes you use one of the items. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Let's send Dolores. Ted's going to be my guy that I had to save. He's going to be the one that I want to survive through all this. If one of them had to die, I would pick Dolores. Don't ask me why. I don't really have like a certain reason. And... Oh, it was a pre-recorded message for tomato soup. So it wasn't the twins. Day six. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Well, we only have that, so let us use that. I believe the ammo is the best option to use out of the three, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I've done it so many times that I think the ammo's the best. We finally have a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable. Smell-wise, anyway. Today's been fine for Dolores. There's nothing going on with Ted. Perfect. That's what I love to hear. Oh, shit! My fat finger always clicks 
on the left mouse button and I always skip some shit. And now Ted's crazy. Day 10. As we were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was just a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies that we could spare. Let me see, how much of each do I have? Four cans of food, seven bottles of what's that? So that's what we're gonna give them. Hopefully they give us something in return, but I'm pretty sure that they aren't. Oh, well, Ted's not crazy anymore, so that's a reward. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out there. Dolores would really love something to eat. Ted is no longer crazy. Yes! Perfect! That's what I love to hear. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. Yes, let's contact the military. God, where is Pancake at? Sometimes it's like the first week that you're down there. Sometimes it's not even to like 50 days. I hope it's not the case where it's like 50 days and then I happen to get Pancake because then I don't think I can survive that long. And more random notes. Come on, Pancake! We need you, buddy! Day 14. Open in the name of freedom! Came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Uh, I have a lot of items. They might rob me, but YOLO, bitches. Come on. Everybody clasp their hands together. Please don't rob me, and please don't kill me. Just take Dolores if you can. Okay, good. They didn't take shit. We regretted opening the door the minute we saw who was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and determined looks of band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Then, out of the blue, one of them asked if we were with the Reds. We never supported the Red Sox, so we confidently said that we weren't. The tension dropped immediately, and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's day 15. Give them some of that. Hear that? It sounds like the herd of animals are stampeding above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go out there. I'm not even going to risk that, because usually one of them gets injured trying to kill those animals, so I don't fuck with that. Day 17. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. Yes, it's the twins. I'm gonna send my little guinea pig Dolores out there. And hopefully we can get this twin ending started. But we can't leave without pancakes, so this is all just not happening right now. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as a survivor from a nearby town in Hill Valley. Yup, those are the twins. Awesome. Not gonna send anybody outside yet. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny underground shelter is probably even lower on the good idea scale. Why the fuck would you play with matches? A few matches later, and we ended up with flames licking up one of the walls. Time is short, we need to put it out and save our supplies. What do we save? Well, this is the dog challenge, so we need to save the med kit because we need to give it to Pancake. But these are two grown ass people playing with matches. Don't their dumbasses know that that is a fire hazard? That could cause a fire, especially in a bunker when there's a lot of flammable items. That was close. We were able to put out the fire, nothing seems to be damaged. At least not very badly. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again or we might need to call the firemen. Are there even any firemen left? I don't fucking know, man. You lost the Boy Scout book and the radio. Hope you're happy. Hope the playing with the matches was worth it. That is some bullshit. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here where the bombs were dropped. We thought it would be in good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked table leg. We need to fight back. I don't want to even want to risk the possibility of one of them getting injured, so I am going to just lock those old fucks out why are they trying to kill us anyway? I have no idea. They're on their last legs. Come on, they're old ladies. You can't fight them with your bare hands, Ted. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave the whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Water is all Dolores wants. Ted looks like he has one foot in the grave. It is day 20, so it's perfect time to feed and give you guys water. And when Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. Not gonna use the med kit, saving that for pancake. Gonna use the axe. 
If there was one thing we could never consider, it would be cutting off any part of Dolores with an axe. Not only would she object to this, she would probably take matters and the axe into her own hands. It was in our best interest to avoid such a situation. We did use the heated axe blade to clean her wounds, and the infection seemed to be fading away. The operation wasn't pretty though, and we damaged our axe. Uh, well, at least she's okay now, right? Let me see. She was hurt. She, she was already hurt, and then we tried to fix it, and then now she's more hurt? What? That doesn't even make any sense. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. Hmm. So I have a gun and a checkerboard to trade. So he's going to give me one water for the checkerboard and four waters for the gun. Let me see. No, I have a lot of water. Nah, I'm good. Sorry, salesman. Not today. Go to another bunker or something and go peddle your water scheme somewhere else. I don't need it. That salesman was very friendly, but he didn't have anything that was of interest to us. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. Ted is not complaining today. That is what I like to hear. Random notes. Where the hell is Pancake? Day 27. A young man paid us a visit today. He told us a story of his brave twin sister who went missing while spying in a nearby bandit camp. He said that while these circumstances are far from perfect, they were in fact meaning to contact us eventually and meet us. He believes his sister was discovered and is currently held captive in that camp. He has a few men, but he could use all the help he can get. Should we help him out? Yes, Dolores, you may go and fight the battle and try to get the twins to come rescue us in the future, please! Okay, good. She's not hurt more than she already is. Love it. And we assisted them, everything is good. Good, that's what I like to hear. We are running out of food though, so I am gonna prepare to scavenge. And yeah, that has nothing to do with Pancake. Where the hell is he? It's been 29 days already, and no word from our favorite dog. Come on, what is going on here? Uh, Dolores is tired, Ted is tired, so that means they can't go out, huh? Great, fuck my life. I have one more day until I feed them, so then that means I'm only gonna have one more can of food. And if Pancake comes, then I'm pretty much screwed. So hopefully he doesn't come now. If he does, that is gonna be a bitch. Prepare to scavenge. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? Huh. Um, I've never got somebody knocking this late into the game. You know what? Mm -mm. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're running low on food. I don't even know if Pancake's gonna come. I might have to redo this challenge. But let's see what that was. Oh my god, how is Dolores sick? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn, pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have done that. Dolores got ill. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Great, Ted! Hooray for you! And nobody can go outside again. Okay, so this is not looking good. If Pancake doesn't come after day 35, I'm pretty much done. These guys are toast. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just started a new playthrough. It is now day 31, and this is the trigger to start saving Pancake. So let us flash our flashlight, and let the real games begin. This is where the challenge now starts. Now I just have to ration my food and water correctly, because I only have three bottles of water left. And, oh, Dolores can go out, so that's cool. And the siblings are back, but I don't have my map. Damn it! Come again later! Hopefully I can use the Boy Scout book to fix the map, or Dolores brings back a new map. It's now day 33, let's send Dolores outside, and hopefully she comes back with some goodies. The fallout outside is gone, so she's not gonna get any radiation sickness. I've already contacted the radio and all that jazz. So Ted is hungry, Ted has one foot in the grave. One more day, my man, and I will feed you. More random notes. Okay, so Dolores needs to come back with water. That's my game plan. That's what I'm banking on. If she doesn't come back with more water, then I don't think I'm going to survive that much. If she can at least bring back four waters, not at least, I mean, that's the max. But if she can bring back at least two waters, then I'll be all right. Day 35. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? Hell no. I learned my lesson. Last time I opened the damn door, it was not good news. They got sick right away, so I'm not going to do that. I know Ted looks all depressed and shit, but it's okay. We'll be all right, Teddy boy. Nobody's gonna eat. And we were about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped on us. It's Pancake. Let's give him some of that soup. Even though I don't think in real life soup wouldn't really be a good choice to give a dog. And Dolores is back. Yay. And she brought back water. I know it's a lot because I see a jug right there. Three waters. Okay, good. 
Nobody's going outside anymore. Let me give her some of this because she went outside. She didn't have any food or water. And the wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door. Well, fuck that guy on the other side of the door. I know he wants some ammo, but we don't have any. So just, just go. Just, just get out of here. Day 38. After Dolores returned from that last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. It might have been her right foot, or maybe her left foot. One of them, anyway. It seemed irrelevant at the time, but now both of her feet are swollen. We need to do something about it. Well, she needs to stop being a baby back bitch, because I'm not giving her the med kit. That is saved for Pancake. His cousin, Doug, recommended this challenge, and we are gonna have those cousins be reunited, alright? I'm gonna do it for Doug. Always gotta do it for Doug. Day 43. Pancake came back today very agitated about something. He really wanted us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood. This seems a bit risky, but maybe Pancake's on the trail of something big? What gear should we take? Uh, This is a first? I have never not had the axe, gun, or map in my possession, and now I can't click any of them? What happens if I can't do anything? Like, will he ever come back? Let me see. Oh my god. Don't tell me. It's already been 44 days in. Don't tell me I have to do another playthrough. Pancake wasn't too happy about his staying put. Eventually, he left and didn't come back. We'll miss Pancake, and not just because his name gives us fond memories of food other than soup. Pancakes. Mmm. Well, fuck that! Now we have to start a new playthrough. Okay, let us clap our hands, and this is a new playthrough. Okay, I'm back. The sun is now gone. It is almost dark as fuck outside. It is now day 30. We've gotten pancake and all that. We are back where we left off in another playthrough. So let us click the map because that is the best option for pancake. I decided to have Timmy along with me. His ass went crazy and he's a little sick. He has that shit dripping down his nose. But hopefully this little fuck will stay with us as long as he can. And what do we get? What? Did we didn't get any items from that? Pancake tagged along for a while, but he left before we got to the bunker. Timmy is hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal and the wound was infected. Alright, let's clean that up. Hopefully, we can clean it up. I mean, I know Ted's crazy. He might not have, like, sturdy hands, but come on. Ah, he's still crazy. Alright. Damn, that didn't work. Timmy seems much better. Okay, that's good. Timmy is very hungry and Timmy is rested, so he's A-OK. -okay. That's what I like to hear. And I don't have much soup, so we need to figure this out. I'm gonna send Ted out. Hopefully, I don't completely screw myself over. The friendly group of survivors we met not long ago popped in today with a request. The group is planning to build a small settlement for themselves, but a lot of them were injured during a recent fight against the bandits. Well, that's their damn fault for being so clumsy! It's not my fault! I'm not giving them the med kit! That's the most important thing to save in Pancake! Get the fuck out of here with that shit! Oh wait, actually, Timmy can go outside! Hell yeah! I don't have to send out Ted. That's even better! Hopefully, Timmy comes back with at least some food. Because I need to get rescued. And Pancake needs to get over here ASAP. Because if he don't, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to go PETA on that ass. That actually doesn't even make sense. Because PETA helps animals. I'm going to go anti-PETA on that ass. Day 36. No, no, no. Pancake crawled back to us, but he's severely injured. Yes. Let us help him. We finally have Pancake in our possession. Yeah. Took three playthroughs. But there's this cute little face. Love you, Pancake. Ted is no longer crazy. Yay, because of Pancake, right? Yippee! We were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Let's use the padlock. I know it's a one-time use kind of thing. Not realistic, but it's the best option for us. Because it saves us from getting injured, potentially. Ted is really thirsty. Alright, well I have two bottles of water. Hopefully Timmy comes back, please. Timmy. Timothy. Timoteo, where are you? He better not have like ran off or something. Okay, no news about Timmy. That's good. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go out and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? How about no, okay? How about that? Day 40. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. Great! Perfect. Just perfect. Day 43. It'd be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog. He needs his space for running and other things. So how about we send him outside for a while? Yes, please bring back some food, Pancake. I need it or else we are completely screwed. Me and you both. He brought back water. Yay. <laughs> uh, I still love you, Pancake, but that's not what we needed. We are so screwed. Oh, God. All right, this is the last day. Might have to do this challenge for a fourth time. 
I think that's a new record. I've never done a challenge more than three times. Uh, give him some of that water. And... Yeah. It's pretty much over. I think. No, it's not. Day 46. Okay. It's been 10 days without food. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. Yep. That's not a good sign. Oh, boy. And our first aid kit is of no use. We can turn the bug spray into it. Yay. But it's over. No, it's not over. Yay. Okay. We're going to keep surviving, guys. Just cross your fingers. Uh, let's just keep giving him water. I don't know why. Let's just maybe something will happen. I don't know. Let's uh, get that. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my god, please. Please? Okay. That's good! We didn't die. Those were delicious. Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark. And now we are too, for that matter. Ted is hungry. Okay, good. He can survive just a little bit longer. Let's just keep giving him water. Maybe it'll drown out his sickness or something. And more random notes. Okay, guys, maybe we can come up clutch. Please! Please! No! Yeah! I thought we could just come up clutch just one time! Just one time! There's only so many days a man can survive without food. Man, you just had a mushroom feast. What, come on, what more do you want, dude? Alright, let's do this for a fourth time. This is the fourth playthrough of the dog challenge. We have finally gotten Pancake at an early time. It is only day 10, so let us trigger him to start the process of him coming into the bunker. Damn. Usually it's around like day 30, day 40, all that. But finally, the fourth try, we got him to come like early in the, in the playthrough, so we'll be good. And let's contact the military, and let's see what happens, and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the playthrough where we get rescued. Day 25. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water was in there earlier. And there goes another one. Oh, damn it. We're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating. Huh. Do I want to grab the radio, or do I want to grab the map? I think that the twins would want the map more than the radio, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm just picking which scenario, like, which items will help me get rescued faster. But then, the military ending, too, for the radio. I need to get in contact with them. So, we'll see what happens. Our gas mask has been badly worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time to go and fix it. Okay, let's fix it with the Boy Scout book. I wonder why there's not that many Boy Scout book scenarios where you can fix the items that you need. They're really rare to me. I don't get those that much. But when I do, it's always items like the gas mask that I don't really need that much. So it kind of just doesn't even help me out that much. And where the hell is the scenario where I give Pancake the med kit? I'm like thinking all over the place right now because I'm trying to get rescued. This is my fourth playthrough of this challenge. I think I'm starting to lose my mind. But I'm trying to hold it together because we need to finish this, guys. There he is. Pancake is back. Give him the med kit and welcome to our bunker for the second time out of four tries. Yes, there he is. He's right next to Timmy because eventually he's going to take Timmy's spot because Timmy is sick of shit and he's going to leave eventually. Day 30. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We already started the twin ending, but let's see if we need to answer the phone again. I'm going to send out Timmy because if I lose him, then... Nothing really matters. But I'm pretty sure it's the tomato soup pre-recorded message. Yep, it is. Okay. So that didn't really do anything. And a young man knocked on our door today asking for help. Yes, it is the twins. Let's send out Timmy again. Let's just keep sending him out until he's gone. We're just going to whore him out. The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father! It's a crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. You better! It better be really soon. If it's not that soon, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna kill you guys. It would be a good idea to let Pancake out for a while. He's a dog, he needs his space for running and other things. So how about we send him outside for a while? Yes, send him outside for just a little while. I don't think he runs away until the raiders try to attack your bunker, but I have the padlock and I have the gun and I have the bug spray. So we'll have at least three scenarios where we can fight off raiders before Pancake runs away. I hope it doesn't come down to that, I really don't. 
After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad. Real bad. Well, I just know how to fix that. It's use the ammo. That is the best scenario to cleaning yourselves. Yes, good. Picked another good one. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in! Sounds like a brilliant idea! Today's been fine for Dolores, Ted's doing alright. That's what I like to hear. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? Sure. I mean, no harm in, uh, keeping quiet or talking to her, so we might as well talk to her. And she looks good. She looks perfectly fine. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Day 41. The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent, their group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already gathered some resources, but they need someone to help them chop wood and build houses. And I need an axe, but I don't have that. So this is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna send out Dolores and hopefully I can come back with an axe. Because it's always something different. It's always something I don't have. One time it's the map, one time it's the book, one time it's the radio, one time it's like a card game, or like I need all these things and then the siblings always want something that I don't have. Motherfuckers. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Let's send out Dolores and wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure real quick. Oh wait, it doesn't tell you if there's any uh, raiders outside. So let's just bring the gas mask just in case. Because the radio broke pretty early in the playthrough, so I don't know if the fallout outside is gone, so we're just gonna have it as a precautionary measure. Yes, Dolores is back. And she didn't bring back an axe. You son of a bitch! What did she bring back though? Two water, two food, a suitcase, and she lost a gas mask. Okay, it's not that bad. Let's give her some of this food, and this time I'm gonna send out Teddy Boy, because we definitely need that axe. Ha! Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms. No, I'm not gonna eat the shrooms. I ate them, and Ted was still hungry, and he died of hunger. So what was the point of eating those mushrooms in the first place? I don't even get that. Do you guys get that? Because I sure as hell don't. Uh, send out Teddy Boy, and I'm not gonna give him any items. If you don't come back, I still have Dolores, and she can survive with Pancake, and that's all that matters to me, is getting Pancake out alive. Pancake seems eager to run outside for a while. Maybe he will bring back something interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if what he brings back is interesting. What do you bring back? Gas mask? Really? I'm so sick of seeing that damn gas mask. Pancake, you're a bad boy. And the siblings are back and they want the axe again. I'm sorry, I don't have an axe, siblings. Can you, like, request a different item? A gun? Maybe some ammo? Maybe my whore of a wife? Anything. I don't have an axe, though. Please. Alright, Ted's back. But he brought back four food. Damn. Cards. And that's about it. Okay, let's give him some of that. We just gotta keep scavenging. But they aren't able to go outside, so that's not good. Day 54. When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open up. It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out and now they offer other items too. Smart girls. And they offer the axe for the gun? Yes! Perfect! I love you guys! I don't know what you girls were doing with an axe in the first place, and I don't know what they're gonna do with a gun now, but who cares? They can do whatever the fuck they want. We have an axe now. Perfect! Hopefully the siblings come back, because it's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. I don't care what's watching us, we are not using the axe, and potentially having it broken. No, I'm not doing that. The siblings are more important right now. Day 57. Pancake is quite agitated. Letting him out for a run seems like a good idea. Maybe he will find something interesting. Yes. I fear that if I keep sending him out, he's just gonna disappear and never come back, and this whole playthrough will be for nothing. But he's back. He's still cute as ever. And he brought back some food. Yay. Nobody's going out. Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. Okay, let's see. He gives us the gun for the gas mask? Hell yeah! Come on, bro! Day 60. These are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. No spank you! 
Not gonna do that. Not gonna mess with all that karma stuff. I know if I take a life, then the game's gonna take my life and it's game over. And I don't really want that right now. Because this is four playthroughs. We're 61 days in. And the siblings are back. Yes! Take my axe! Yes! Okay. I'm getting excited now. Day 67. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious. But after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bombs dropped. All these old hags. We're just gonna lock them out. I don't feel like shooting some old ladies in the face today. That's just not the J way. Well, it kind of is the J way, because I would if I could. But right now, we're not gonna do that. And we lost the padlock, but it's okay. Not gonna send anybody out. And the last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player, and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry man enter. Merry man these balls! I'm not letting you go inside this shelter. Crazy, bro! Day 80. Alert! There is a gang of firefighters outside. Or at least they are dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Well, hell no, we won't go. Use that axe to the face. I know the siblings don't really need the axe anymore because they already used it. So, the axe is gone anyway. So, it doesn't even matter. Good. I, I'm pretty sure that the raiders are going to keep coming from here on out. So, that's going to suck balls. But hopefully... Oh my god, the friendly group came today to say that the camp is almost complete. But they need a few more items. Oh wait, I have cards. Yes. I thought I didn't have cards. Yay. Well, that's the last step. And then I believe that they can rescue us any day now. They need to hurry up because all we have is the gun and I know the raiders are going to come and if I don't open the door then Pancake is going to try to go at them and it's going to be game over. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door. No. No. No quiet knocks on our door. No banging on our door. No scratching on our door. No slapping your dick on the door. I'm not going to answer for any reason whatsoever. Just cut it out. Oh my god. I'm murdy. I'm getting antsy now. I'm ready to be saved. Please. It's almost 100 days. I've been playing this for a while now. We started when the sun was still out. It's already dark as shit outside. I really want to finish this challenge. Please. Day 87. We had a chance to meet the strangest person today. He looked just like a human except with triple the amount of hands necessary. We listened to a story about a group of folks just like him who are having a hard time scavenging supplies because of their appearance. People shoot first and ask questions later. He offered us a deal. If we share some of our supplies with them, they will help us on our next expedition to make sure we're safe. Aw, I was hoping it was the next, like, raider attack. Eh, whatever. Let's just give him some soup. We have a bunch to spare anyway. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get rescued any day now. Any day now. I feel it. It's day 88, guys. This is the last day. Watch this. Come on. The raider camp on our street has been especially madding lately. They're acting like real savages. No. I'm not gonna mess with them. If they wanna come mess with us, fine. But I'm not gonna mess with them. Day 91. If there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Yes. I think this is them, guys. This is them. Everybody, come on. It's them. It's gotta be them. Yes! It is them! Holy fucking Luya! We got saved by the twins. Again. Thank you. With Pancake also. Ted, Dolores, Pancake, all rescued. They're gonna be a happy family. I love it. We finally finished the dog challenge. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Whew. Yeah, guys. High five. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That is going to do it for today's 60 Seconds Challenge video. This was the dog challenge. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I did playing it. I was so happy to get rescued with Pancake. It doesn't happen often whenever I play these 60 Second games. But this time we got rescued with Pancake and that's all that matters. So if you guys have any challenges that you want to recommend to me, please post them in the comment section below and I will choose the most creative and unique one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!